First, I created a spreadsheet and I filled it with almost a hundred different scene prompts. And I had the computer randomly pick one every single day and I would have to make whatever it was it told me that day. So I let a computer direct my film. This is how that went. So it was day one and I spun the wheel to see what I would get and I got a new technology is released and the location in a shed. So my first thing I did was grab some paper and figure out how am I even gonna fit that things together that what? Shed? Technology? And so I was thinking like, well, technology can just be anything really. I was thinking about those sprays that you get that make plants grow. And then this actually gives my main character a motive as well because they want their plants to grow and they want this spray, this new technology spray that makes them grow. And then I was like, wait, I actually don't have a shed, so we can't do the shed, but I have a greenhouse and that's close enough. So I was gonna have this radio announce this new spray and they were gonna want it to make their plants grow. And that was my plan for day one. So I went out and I filmed all the shots in the greenhouse of uh, the main character wanting to make their plants grow. And then I had some shots with the radio in it, but I didn't actually have the radio audio to add over it. So what I did is I recorded myself and then recorded the audio off of my phone. So it was a kind of bad speaker sound chemical compound and spray on the market of the clip and then i put that over the footage and it sounded a lot better so i decided to go with this idea of this bottle spray that was going to make these plants grow and I wanted to make a prop for that so I could actually have it in the film. I made some graphics up and then printed that out, got an old bottle, stuck it on that and then got some food dye to make it look like it was um, some sort of chemical spray. And then it was day two and time to get another prompt. I ended up getting find something and the location a field. So finding something in a field. I decided I was going to rework yesterday. They wanted the spray but they couldn't afford it or something, and they were going to find it in the field. I refilmed a bit, so it was like they were looking online and they couldn't find um, a cheap one, they couldn't afford it, so boo, sad, I can't afford it, ah, tragedy. But wait, no, field. So they're walking in the field and they find the spray in the field. So I decided I was gonna go for a sort of guerrilla filmmaking approach, just kind of show up with a small amount of gear and um, just film and hope that nothing would go bad or, you know, like a huge ass tractor show up and be like, what the hell, I need to go there, you need to leave. Mm. Tractor on the move. Let's see if we can get this shot before. So that's the disadvantage to filming in a public place is I had to go because um, they were planting crops, they were spraying pesticides. It was then day three and I got a mystery in the garden, which works perfectly because garden plants. And so I thought, okay, so maybe they spray the plants and they go to bed and then they hear something outside. They go to check it out and the plants are just absolutely massive. And that could be your mystery. I wanted to make the plants look really huge and to do that I got some blue screen, put it behind some plants and then I stuck the plants on top of the footage of the greenhouse and then added in little reflections and stuff and corrected a little bit and it looked pretty good, it worked. Day four was pretty easy, I got sitting on a deck and the location of course was a deck so it was just me sitting on a deck but I wanted to still advance the story a bit so I had that they were chilling out at the deck drinking some tea or whatever looking at the huge plants thinking you know what do I do but then I, I make it so that they've actually drank the growth serum to make it interesting and that was easy it was just some food dye in a cup the real curveball was the last day where I got the prompt accidentally killing someone and living room I had to scratch the living room because it wasn't gonna work but accidentally killing someone um, I ended up going with accidentally killing myself. The main character drinks the serum and they grow huge, which I thought would be a great idea. That would be fun. That would be easy and achievable in a day. And then, I don't know, like the FBI shows up and tries to shrink them and then they shrink and die. That was my plan. But it led to some cool um, effects. For example, there's one where I'm really huge above the house and what I did for that is I just slowed down the footage so it looked like I was really slow moving and heavy. And then I blue screened the sky behind the house and put the house in front so it looked like I was behind the house. 
and huge. And that was really easy to do and it worked really well. And then for the last bit of shrinking, I used loads more green screen so I could separate myself from the background and then scale myself down. And for the last shot, I really wanted like looking down onto me shrinking, but that would require like a high angle shot and green screen. Um, and then it was so jank because I put like green screen on the floor, on like in my garden, and then just went, got my brother to go up several floors and then film down onto me. And it looks really bad and jank, but it works. And I shrink and I die and the story is complete. And in the end, it did produce a film that was pretty interesting. The storyline was pretty interesting. And I think more than anything, what I learned from it was it's nice to break things down so much where you don't have to care about the whole project. Like I just had to take one day at a time. I had to take one minute of a film. So I really felt like I could be ambitious and do crazy things and experiment and be free, be free. <laughs> and I really think you should do it. You should do it. You should make a film.